Hello Taurus, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Taurus this week? Knight of Swords. Okay. The Well, the Eight of Cups, and the High Priestess. So the Knight of Swords is about, it's the energy of someone wanting to save you sometimes, or you wanting to save yourself. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing get out of trouble. Get out of trouble. Someone wants to get you out of trouble, or you want to get yourself out of trouble, or you want to get someone else out of trouble. I'm going to clarify it later. For now, that's what it means. There's something about someone kind of either charging towards you to help you out of a sticky spot or you wanting to do that for someone else um but I'll clarify it later with the well card it's also something this week about being inspired to create something um this is something that's kind of going to flow I'm feeling something will flow out of you whether that be a painting whether that be a song whatever it is you do creatively if you don't do anything creatively you're going to find yourself doing something like randomly your friend signed you up to a pottery class and before you know it you've you know something's just happened you've made this beautiful vase or something but there's something just naturally flowing trust it trust it and don't overthink it don't overcomplicate it don't be like oh i don't know if i've got the right pen and paper i don't know if i've got the right guitar there's something here where there's going to be something that happens something that comes from you with this well card but it's not really coming from you. It's, it's almost like um, you could be very psychic because the High Priestess is here. So there's a feeling of if you're very psychic, sometimes there are inspirations, there are things that flow through you that you don't have control over. And it's your job just to kind of let it out, just let it come through, um, whatever that may be. Some of you, it's almost like you're creating something and it's for a friend, which is a weird thing to say, but it's like, that's coming through so strongly right now. You're going to create something, but it's actually for a friend and you don't know it at the time. You're just, you're like, I'm painting this picture. I've got, I've got to let out some anger or something. And then afterwards you go, oh my gosh, this is exactly what Barbara needs. Barbara needs this painting. This is her. Or, you know, I've accidentally painted Barbara's dog that passed away. Um, I'm kidding, but you know what I mean. There's something that you're going to accidentally create and give away. It's very strange, but it's not accidental. It's happened, right? It's out of your control. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but there's definitely maybe something you're doing with your hands to do with this. Eight of Cups um, is moving on. There's something you're letting go of. Uh, getting Goodbye Yellow Brick Road come through by Elton John but maybe you've been listening to that song but there's just that feeling now of like it's time to say goodbye to something or someone or a certain group of people you're distancing yourself from that you've outgrown it this week this could be something as simple as just I don't know I don't know some of you are just saying goodbye to a version of yourself that you no longer relate to um or you don't want to be you've outgrown and as you do that you're then moving into the high priestess energy which is psychic en energy um you're very you're very much in tune and you may not give yourself credit for that you may not be aware of it but you are you are very yeah you're very oh i've got chills i've got chills there's a feeling of whatever it is that's happening in your life and however it is you're handling it you may not realize how well you're handling things until afterwards um maybe you don't even realize at all but you are doing a very good job with um even sometimes biting your tongue there might be arguments that you know you can win but you kind of go look i may be able to win this argument is there any point? <laughs> um, like whatever you're saying, whatever you would do would fall on deaf ears or it would just be unnecessary. So I like the energy here of you kind of just walking away um, from not arguments, but it just feels like there's a lot you could say to a certain 
group of people or a certain person, there's a lot you could say um, to argue your cause or to, it's not arguing, it's just like there's something that you could say and you're going to decide, actually, I'm just going to walk away. I'm just going to let it go. I'm, I've tried before, it's not worked. Obviously, I can't. I can't spend any more energy on these people. Um, I like this energy because I feel like it's been a long time coming for some of you. Like, you know. Mm, some of you, it's also the reverse, and there's something you've said in the past that comes back around, and you kind of go, hmm. And then you have to bite your tongue because you want to say, I told you. You want to say, I told you so. Or I tried to tell you. Or, like, there's something that you have to, like, bite your tongue to be the bigger person and just go okay or that like they're telling you something as if it's new information you already told them and you're like mm, that's so interesting really that's that's happening that's so interesting um don't you wish someone had told you sooner uh, there's something where you're gonna it's gonna be hard to choose the higher path but you'll be happier if you do Clarifying the Knight of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords. So there might be an ending of you kind of saving other people. Um, if you are this kind of very psychic, very magnetic with the magician, people gravitate towards you. People want you. People want your advice. People want your wise things, right? Obviously not the people I was talking about a second ago where they didn't want to listen to what you had to say. Other people, um, whether it be partners or potential right there's or just friends in general people might have came to you gravitated towards you as a shoulder to cry on or um somewhere to dump anything that isn't going well there's some way where there's something here where people dump a lot onto you and there's an ending to that which i like so this could be you putting your foot down and kind of going mm, i should I should really be careful who I'm spending my time with because they have never been there for me when I was in trouble. But there's an ending, basically, either way. Whatever this is to do with, with the Knight of Swords, you saving other people, you kind of looking out for them, you always... I don't know, some of you are single, and I'm just getting that phrase come through, I can fix him, or I can fix her, I can fix him. There's something where you like that, or you're just very good at... Um healing and that's amazing but when it comes to partners you shouldn't have to spend all your energy fixing someone else um your person is going to be ready for you and you'll be ready for them you're not going to have to um try basically to put it simply you're not gonna have to try so if you find yourself constantly fixing people and trying to alter them and heal them probably not your people um with the Ten of Swords, I feel like a lot of you might have realised that recently and you're putting an end to that. You're like, yep, I really want to help. I really want to fix you. But you're also completely capable of doing that yourself. Um, or getting help from someone else is not my job. There's just a very healthy boundary that you may feel for a while you didn't place this boundary because it seemed selfish. Now you're realising it's not selfish to kind of look out for yourself because I feel like this was detrimental to your own health you were constantly putting someone else before you you're constantly trying to fix others before yourself and there's something where you're stopping that we got the two of pentacles and the three of cups hmm it's funny the two of pentacles is clarifying the well card and the well was the card I was talking about where I said you're creating something right and I was doing this with my hands I was like I don't know what I'm doing with my hands Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles juggling, right? So, I don't know what you're doing, but you're juggling. You are you could find yourself... Um, some of you are very, very busy this week, and you're going to be finding yourself, like, running... Some of you live in a city, because I just see you running from one place to the other. You're, like, on your lunch break or something, and you're running to some other job to do some other errand, and... But it's not something others would do. There's, like... It seems kind of crazy. Um, 
which is a weird thing to say. It's almost like someone at your office or your workplace will be looking at you weird. Like, you just did that on your lunch break? Huh? Who does that? Like, there's something really wacky. Um, but you're like, well, I didn't have time to do it later. I'm busy, so I had to. Um, I can't really pick up what it is. It's just something really strange. Like, you just go to the gym or something, and someone's like, why are you going to the gym? It's lunchtime. Um, there's something. And you're like, yeah, but I, I've got my routine, and I can't go to the gym later. Like, but it won't be the gym, I don't feel. But it's something really strange, um, or out of your normal, um, where someone will be like, why are you doing that? Three of Cups clarifying the Eight of Cups. Definitely walking away from certain friendship groups and circles is all I need to say. Three of Cups is all about friends. With the Eight of Cups, I said you're leaving, walking behind, leaving a certain group of people. And then to clarify, we get Three of Cups. So could be three people in particular, could be just a group of people that are very gossipy or very negative and you just don't relate to them and you don't... It feels like you've outgrown them, to be honest. I'll get you the card to clarify the High Priestess. Or two. Nine of Cups with the Eight of Swords. Hmm. I'm getting... You have a choice. You can either enjoy something or you can feel trapped by it. Now, the reason I'm saying this, how do I, how do I put it? Let's say you're famous, okay? Someone watching this, you're famous, okay? You can either enjoy it, you can lap it up. You, there's, you know, there's annoying paparazzi, they're taking pictures of you, how annoying. With the Eight of Swords, you can be absolutely entrapped by it and like scared of it and feel like you're in a fishbowl. Or you can embrace it and, and you can realise, you know what, yes, they are invading your privacy and it's absolutely horrible. You can't change it though. There's something that you can't change that you can either be trapped by or you can embrace and you can kind of in learn to love it and love it more and it may, others may not see it from your point of view but there's something where you can really act, I don't know why I'm getting a sponge come through act like a sponge for some reason just coming in um like ab absorb this energy whatever is coming at you or you can just kind of be afraid and stuck and not move um with the high priestess as well this is also about holding your tongue and knowing what to say like you know a lot more than you let on so it might be like oh i really want to say this just to go with the famous analogy, because I've said it, it's like, oh, I really want to say this, paparazzi are filming, I can't say it. But then it's like, oh, I can use this to my advantage. I can, I can, there's a playing dumb energy. There's a playing dumb, there's a playing naive energy where people um, basically might perceive you to not know as much as you really know. They might look at you and think, huh, she's naive, he's naive, huh. Um, and you're actually extremely intelligent, but you just don't feel the need to prove it. Where there's a lot of people these days that are kind of saying these big words and trying to prove and they've got their little podcast microphones and they want to look intelligent, um, but they don't really know that much. Whereas there's a, there's a power within you where you know a lot more than you let on and you don't have any need to prove that. You don't need to show anybody how intelligent you are. Um, you don't need to use big fancy words to show that you're smart because you know you are smart. Whereas the people that don't know they're smart, they feel the need to prove it and they feel the need for others to tell them. They want others to say, you're smart. Or, you know what I mean? You're not do looking for anybody's praise because there's something here where you're very happy with who you are. You're very, I, I like this. There's a very confident, happy energy um, about that. Whereas maybe with the Eight of Swords here, you might find this upsets someone else and that might be that three of cups and the eight of cups that you're walking away from is people can sometimes be frightened of what they don't understand and they may not understand some type of confidence or some type of ability to stay silent to not argue because it's like mm, I don't know there's something where you're not arguing because I said earlier it's not necessarily an argument maybe but it's there's a thing where you're you're staying out of drama. 
but it's not in a negative sense. Other people may perceive it to be. They may perceive you to kind of be like, oh, I don't want to go near that. But really, it's benefiting you to stay away from it. It's not that you're too afraid with the Eight of Swords. It's not that you're, you're completely... Nothing's scaring you about this. It's more of, I'm choosing peace, and I'm choosing my happiness, and I'm choosing to keep my peace, and keep the peace, rather than... Um, fight my case. I don't know what this is about. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Sorry, it's random. Um, if anything I said resonated or you feel it will, because obviously it's not happened, please let me know by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tall Tarot Tuesdays.